I know a lot of um, clients come to us because of, of the changing economy and how hard it is to evolve and innovate in this time of change. Um, and so how do you think leaders can really motivate their teams? It's kind of tough. You know, you get down, there's a lot of change. How do you motivate teams? How do you keep everybody yeah. fired up? You have to create confidence in the future. You have to not be afraid of change. You, know, you have to embrace change, disruption, and transformation as an opportunity, as a catalyst for something bigger. And I think, you know, I think you motivate people by connecting them to something larger than themselves, connect work to that, by having a compelling vision of the future, by communicating consistently, and by caring. You know, people will show up and contribute when they recognize you're invested in them, you care about them and their future um, beyond just what they can deliver day to day, and, and I think you know that type of relationship and it is motivating and, and inspiring to people. People, you know, people want to work on stuff that that matters, and people want to work for a team, an organization, a leader where they can see growth and progress and get excited about the future. It is a transformative, disruptive, and uncertain time. And I think part of the leadership mandate or responsibility is to, to have a compelling vision of the future and, and confidently connect people to that and show people where they, they have an opportunity to contribute, mm -hmm. kind of like what we do here, yeah, right? Right, absolutely. <laughs> and I know leaders are, are so important to the team, for sure, and um, you've been a boss of mine. We've been co-workers, we've been, we've been in the, the boss mentor role, um, back and forth as well. Um, Describe one of your best bosses and what attributes do you find that were most valuable and those that you incorporate into your life? Yeah, so, you know, one of the best bosses that I ever worked for was, was John. Our, our, you know, we both worked for him, so our, our former CEO. And John was a mentor and a, and a friend. I, I learned a lot from him. Uh, and, I, you know, a few of the simple things that, that he did that still impact or in, influence me today. Um, you know, he, he was a great listener. You know, uh, when you spent time with him, you always felt like your voice was heard, like he cared about it and respected, you know, my opinion and, and took it into consideration. He was very present when, when he was with you. Um, yeah, he was. He, he also, you know, back to the earlier point, he also was someone that created a very compelling vision of the future. He was confident. You know, he, he could kind of get you excited about three years from now and five years from now that the journey ahead was going to be special and that you were going to be be able to contribute to that and be a big part of it i also know i also know he cared about me as a person uh, our, our personal relationship mattered to me that, you know, we had an, we both had an obligation and a responsibility to the business, but I think deep down he wanted me to be not only successful, but to have a great life. And, and that mattered to me. At the same time, I also believed he would have fired me in two seconds for underperformance. So there, there was a standard and there were expectations and you always knew where you stood and that the obligation to the organization, to our stakeholders, to all of the employees, to our customers, certainly superseded our personal relationship, but I, I always knew that existed and, and that was important too. Um, so I think, you know, a combination of some of those things made, made him special. He was, also, he was also willing to try things, take some risks, take some chances, he was vulnerable, he'd admit mistakes, he, he would recognize that maybe he did not have all the answers and would rely on you for your expertise, perspective, and opinion to make his decisions. So you felt like, you know, you, I felt like I always had a voice and I was able to impact or influence my area of the business. And I think that's part of what made working for him so special. I learned a lot from him and he still influences the way I run our business today.